As humans, we're naturally driven by the search for better. But when it comes to hiring, the best way to search for a candidate isn't to search at all. Don't search. Match. With Indeed, when I was looking to hire someone, it was so slow and overwhelming. I wish I had used Indeed. If you need to hire, you need Indeed. Indeed is your matching and hiring platform, with over 350 million global monthly visitors according to Indeed data, and a matching engine that helps you find quality candidates fast. Ditch the busy work. Use Indeed for scheduling, screening, and messaging so you can connect with candidates faster. And Indeed doesn't just help you hire faster. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites, according to a recent Indeed survey. And listeners of this show will get a $75 sponsored job credit to get your jobs more visibility at Indeed.com slash podcast. That's Indeed.com slash podcast. Terms and conditions apply. It is Ryan here, and I have a question for you. What do you do when you win? Like, are you a fist pumper? A woohooer, a hand clapper, a high fiver. I kind of like the high five, but if you want to hone in on those winning moves, check out Chumba Casino. At chumbacasino.com, choose from hundreds of social casino style games for your chance to redeem serious cash prizes. There are new game releases weekly, plus free daily bonuses. So don't wait. Start having the most fun ever at chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. DTW, void, were prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18. Plus. Now for our story. In the courtroom at Huntsville, haltingly, Painfully, Lisa Fenner is telling her story, prompted by Angus, who, with careful, sympathetic questions, tries to help the young dancer bring forth from the dark past the twisted motives and emotional confusions which plunged so many people's lives into disaster. You see, Mrs. Fenner, Mr. Cromwell had asked you to marry him? Yes, but... But what, Mrs. Fenner? Well, I learned that he... that Paul was not in love with me. You mean... There was another woman? Yes. What was the woman's name, please? It was Kit Calvert. Now, Mrs. Fennett, suppose you tell in your own words what happened after you learned that Miss Calvert and Mr. Cromwell had reached an agreement. Well, in the first place, I realized how foolish I'd been. That I hadn't been in love with Paul, really, but I was hurt because of what had happened in San Francisco. I'd been lonely because I missed Lance. My husband and I had... Yes, Mrs. Fenner? Go on, please. Mrs. Fenner? Lance. He's here. Oh, Lance, why did you come here? Why? Oh, I'm afraid. His face is so closed and angry. Is he going to... How can I tell what happened with Lance there listening? I'm so ashamed. If I can only make him understand why I did it. If I can only make him understand. Mrs. Fenner, won't you continue, please? You were saying that you and your husband... Yes. My husband and I had been so happy the first year we were married. He... He was very good to me. Tender. We didn't have much money then. We were just getting started. Somehow it didn't matter. We used to have such good times doing the simple things. Lance was always protective and gentle with me. He made me feel safe. We never quarreled, not even about our work. When we danced, we understood each other perfectly, as if we were one person. We responded to the music in the same way. That's how it was with our lives, too. We felt things the same way. Then we began to be more successful. We were dancing at the Regency Room. It was a smart, fashionable place. We became quite well known, and Lance began to change toward me. There were some women who flattered him a lot. He began disappearing after the last show. I'd go back to the hotel alone, night after night. When I... If I asked him where he'd been, he'd get very angry. I felt that he didn't love me anymore. I was terribly hurt, and I said things I shouldn't have. That made it all the worse. Finally, he left me. Your husband left you alone? Yes, in San Francisco. 
I didn't have much money, and you see, I'd never danced alone. Besides, I didn't feel very well. I see. Go on, Mrs. Fenner. That was when I went down to Southern California. Paul, Mr. Cromwell had asked me to visit him, and he said he loved me. I was so lonely and frightened, I didn't know what else to do. Then you went to Southern California to Mr. Cromwell's house at Malibu? Yes. The day I got there, Miss Calvert arrived, too. Paul introduced her as an old friend of his. They'd known each other in New York. She was very kind to me at first. I... I thought she was a friend of mine. But then, one night there was a storm. I was nervous. You know, Kit and Miss Calvert had gone to Paul's house. He lived almost next door. I went to find them. When I glanced through the window, I saw... Yes? What did you see, Mrs. Fenner? Don't be afraid. Kit was in Paul's arms. When I saw his face, I knew he must love her. I realized what a mistake I'd made. I ran back to our house. When Kit came, I accused her of taking Paul away. She laughed at me. She said it wasn't her fault if Paul loved her, that I was being silly. I was very tired. I went upstairs to bed. But Kit had decided to go to Paul and persuade him to talk to me. She went outside and... That was when she had the accident. Miss Calvert? She had an accident? There was a long flight of stairs. She slipped, fell... We found her lying in the rain, unconscious. She... She was very ill. And you see, it was my fault. If she hadn't gone after Paul because of our quarrel, it never would have happened. I can't deny it. It was my fault Kit lost her child. You say Miss Calvert lost her own child? Yes. Go on, please, Mrs. Fenner. After that, everything was like a nightmare. Paul, Kit, I didn't know what to do. I felt so guilty and I was frantic thinking of the future, worrying. When Kit recovered, we had a talk. She made me an offer. She told me I was to blame. That now there was no use in her returning to her home unless she had a child. That she'd stay there with Paul unless... Unless what, Mrs. Anna? Did Miss Calvert offer an alternative? Please, I can't go on. I can't. Lance, the way you look at me, I know what you're thinking, but I didn't really love Paul. Can't you understand that? You left me. I was all alone. Senator, won't you try to finish your story? Yes. Yes, I'll go on. Kit told me. She promised that she'd returned to her home to Wakefield, that neither Paul nor I would ever see her again. She kept after me for days, over and over, the same things, until I felt almost as if I were being hypnotized. I couldn't think clearly anymore. But the more she talked, the more it began to seem the only thing I could possibly do. It seemed as if it was best for everyone. Even on the way to the hospital, she asked me if I'd made up my mind. But I couldn't give her an answer. Something held me back. Until afterward. Afterward? In the hospital. I... I didn't want to see her. But as I lay there, all the things she'd been saying over and over came back to me. I felt trapped. And it seemed the only way out was to accept the bargain kid asked for. To give her what she wanted. Yes, Mrs. Bennett. Please, thank you. I can't postpone it any longer. If only you'd understand, then. I thought we might have a chance for happiness together. But it didn't work. I should have known it couldn't. You can't run away. It's my responsibility. I have to face it now. That's why I came here. Even though I knew you'd probably hate me for what I did, Lance. Lance, don't hate me. Don't hate me. Senator, you say you made a bargain with Miss Calvert. Will you tell the court, please, exactly what that bargain was? Yes. 
I'll tell you. I told Kit she could have my baby. My son. As Lisa spoke the last word, she looked over the heads of the spectators, speaking directly to Lance, who had listened to her story intently, his eyes fixed on her face. Now Lance rose, and the crowd became aware that there was some unspoken thought, some crisis between the white-faced young dancer and the grave young man who confronted her from the rear of the room. There was dead silence, an expectant silence. What was going to happen? What was this young man, Lisa's husband, going to do? Hello, it is Ryan, and we could all use an extra bright spot in our day, couldn't we? Just to make up for things like sitting in traffic, doing the dishes, counting your steps, you know, all the mundane stuff. That is why I'm such a big fan of Chumba Casino. Chumba Casino has all your favorite social casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere with daily bonuses. That should brighten your day a little. Actually, a lot. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. That's ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW group. Void prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus.